Hello, dear students. My name is Dr. Mamudu Janjalo, and today we're going to have a drama lesson. And the title of our lesson today is Expressing Past Facts and Habits Using a Very Particular Structure. You will discover in a while. We're going to see how to express past habits and even an event using used to. Used to is the structure we use when we want to talk about past facts and habits. And what it is considered as? It is a model auxiliary which is only used in the past. Example, you know Abdullah Wad. And who is Abdullah Wad? Guess. Okay, he was the president of Senegal. So if you want to use the structure with it, you said, tell me. Okay, Abdullah Wad used to be the president of Senegal, but now he is not. I repeat, Abdullah Wad used to be the president of Senegal, now he is not. Let's see more about the structure now. Okay, you know this town. What town is it? Right, that's Saint Louis. What was the capital city of Senegal in the past? Guess? Okay, that's Saint Louis. Is Saint Louis still the capital city of Senegal? What's the answer? No, it isn't. And what is the capital city of Senegal now? Dakar is the capital city of Senegal now. Very good. Now let's go on. So, Saint Louis is no longer the capital city of Senegal because it was in the past. Now, using the structure, we said what? Guess? Okay. With the structure, we said Saint Louis used to be the capital city of Senegal. Very good. Let's see another example. Hey guys, you know this player? What's his name? Tell me. Sadio Mane. Okay. Now, does Sadio Mane play for Generation Food? Now, what is the answer? No, he doesn't play for Generation Food. No, he plays for Liverpool, you know. And did he play for Liverpool in the past? What is the answer? No, he did not. So, using the structure, we said what? Guess. Sadio Mane used to play for Generation Food. Now, dear student, we'll see more examples using the structure used to to talk about facts. Let's go. Okay. The first one is Paul. Paul's father used to smoke in the past, but he doesn't smoke anymore. Muhammad Ali used to be an excellent boxer. Is he still an excellent boxer? No, Muhammad Ali is now dead. Very good. Alun Badar Cham, known as Aikon, used to live in Senegal. So, where does he live now? Answer, he lives in the United States. You see, all these examples are facts in the past, that happened in the past and ended in the past. Now, we will see how it works with habits using the same structure used to. Now, we're going to see how to use the same structure but expressing habits in the past. The first example is, I used to go running for an hour every morning before breakfast when I was in the United States. Now you focus on the repetition of the, the action. It happened as a habit every morning. That is what is important here. Second example, Mark and Julie used to meet in London every summer before they got married. So you have every summer, which marks the repetition of the habit in the past. And the third example is Mariam used to visit her parents on Sundays before she traveled abroad. On Sundays marks the repetition of the action 
in the past or the habit. The fourth example, when we were kids, when we were kids, we used to go fishing very often in the holidays. Very often marks the repetition of the action in the past or the habit. Now let's go on to see how the structure works for more details. So you have used to as a structure. Now the rule, guess the rule before I give it to you. Okay, so now let's see if you write. Sadio Mane used to study in Bambali. What do you have here? Okay, you have, guess? What does Sadio Mane represent here in the sentence? What does used to represent in the sentence? And what does study represent in the sentence? Sadio Mane is the subject. Used to is the structure we're learning today. Very important. And look at the end of used to. Okay? And study is the base verb. Base verb meaning infinitive without to. Let's see another example. Now you're going to do this one for me because I did the first one. Now the second one is for you. What does Tundjairo represent? I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. The subject. And what about used to? I'm waiting for your answer. Very good. The structure. And play, what is it? The base verb. That's wonderful. So, meaning what? Explain what base, base, base verb means. Ah, okay. Meaning the infinitive form of the verb without to. Very good. So now let's move forward to see what we'll give. Okay. The third part. It is negative and question form. Guess about how to ask questions with the used to structure or and how to answer, ask questions and answering questions about used to in the negative form. Very important. Did you guess? Okay. How do you ask questions? Okay. I will check if you were right. Very good. You have did, which is the auxiliary. You have the subject, Sergio Mane, the structure, used to, and play the base verb. You're right. Very good. So you see that when you ask the question, it is a yes, no question. Very important to notice it because you will have different types of questions. You have this is yes, yes, no question, but you also have tell me WH questions. Wonderful. So the yes, no question is you have the auxiliary did in the past. Very important. It takes the it takes the past tense. That's why the structure is written without a D. You know, used to is used as a regular verb. Regular verbs use a D at the end of the verb in the past. Simple, you know that. Very good. So now, did takes the past. You have the subject. And then you have used to without the D. Very important. And then you have the base verb. Okay. Play. Okay, now let's see how the negative form works. I answer my own question, or you, I'm going to ask you the question, and you answer. Answer my question, okay, before me, if I give it to you. What do you say? Very good. No, Sergio Mane didn't used to play for Paris Saint-Germain. Very good, okay. He used to play for, can you guess? As a supplementary answer, he used to play for FC Mads. Good. Okay, you notice that here, as I said before, use doesn't end with the D in the past. Very important. Neither for the question, nor for the negative form. Be careful about use, these uses. All right, now, Let's recapitulate. For the recapitulation, it will be your turn to use the structure used to and build your own sentences. Okay? But before that, see how to use used to in the affirmative, negative, 
and question forms. Can you guess? Okay. Can you give me the structure for the affirmative form? Right? Try. Good. You get it. Subject plus used to plus base verb. Very good. And can you guess how to use the negative form? Wonderful. I know you're geniuses. Okay. Subject plus didn't use to plus base form of the verb. I know that you understand the rule very much now because you gave me you, you gave me many, you know, things I didn't understand about it. And what about the questions? You have WS questions or yes no questions. But for each of these questions you have W question word plus did plus subject plus used to plus base verb. Now let's move forward to see how you're going to try by yourself to use the structure in sentences. So here for the control practice you're supposed to use used to and did or didn't use to to write sentences about ancient people's life with the information in the chart. Ancient people people who, you, who lived in the past. And the first example is done for you. Ancient people used to live in caves. Hey, now it's your turn. Show me what you can do for me. All right, you have, in the chart you have the first part is sentences you have to build dealing with what ancient people used to do. In the second one, you have to deal with sentences, build your own sentences about what ancient people didn't used to do. Okay? All right. Good. Now, let's move forward. After trying, and you did well, very well, you have now the free practice. You ask to build 10 or more sentences using the structure used to, to illustrate past facts or habits. Dear students, that's the end of our lesson. So we'll be waiting for your answer questions in the forum. And also, don't forget, you have to bring your sentences on the forum. You have to send your sentences so that we can give you a feedback. We'll see you next time for more lessons and for more entertainment. Thank you very much. Dear student, this is the end of our lesson. Don't forget to send your sentences on the forum. And if you have any question, ask them and we will get back to you for next time. We will be back with more lessons for you. Thank you very much. In the framework of the program offered to you by the Minister of Education uh, called Learn at Home or Apprendre à la Maison, uh, we have followed with you uh, the lesson, a grammar lesson, on um, how to express past habits and actions. And uh, we'll be very pleased also to, uh, to listen to, to your questions, but before this, I would like to introduce um, myself first and then uh, my colleagues. My name is Tambangom and uh, I am an ELT, the ELT advisor at the Ministry of Education. Uh, and I have on my right Dr. Mao Samb, who is a teacher trainer at Serefe Dakar. I have uh, Inspector Musa Gai, who works in uh, Inspection of the Academy of Chess. So guys, how are you this morning, Mr. Mawa? Thank you, dear colleague Tambangom. And, uh, Happy Easter celebration to all the Christian community in Senegal. Thank you. you yes, we, yes, we, we definitely wishing them a very good Easter um, festival. Uh, Musa, okay. how, you, how are you this morning? Are you, uh, are you, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. And uh, I'm prof not tired at all. So uh, I just profit by this occasion uh, to say uh, hello to, the, to dear parents and dear learners. Thank you very much. Uh, so, dear learners, all along this uh, session, 
will be very happy to listen to your to your questions and uh, and answer uh, them because we we need after this lesson to bring some clarifications uh, and uh, we will be listening to the first question from uh, from the students hello my name is Louise and my question is can the structure used to be used in the present tense thank you uh, dear colleagues we have um, heard it seems it's a lady it's a it's a it's a female voice isn't it okay and her question is can the structure used to be used in the present tense dr mauer thank you so much for this question it's very relevant i would say definitely no when we use the structure used to it's exclusively used to express a past habit situation. For example, when I say, in the past, I used to live and work in the United States. I used to be a teacher at Loudoun County High School. What does it mean? It means that in the past, I worked there and I taught in the United States. Now the action is definitely behind because now I'm a teacher trainer in Senegal in Dakar specifically. Yes, and you no longer you no longer teach there. You no. I no there. longer teach in the United States. The action is past. Okay. When I say used to plus base form, meaning infinitive without to, it is always to express a past habit, and we cannot use the present tense when using used to, expressing a past habit or situation. Thank you, thank you, Mawa. I think it's it's quite clear, but we. You going to listen to Musa if you have anything to add? Yes, uh, I share the uh, the answer of uh, Dr. Mauer, and uh, also I'll add that uh, when you see the word "used to," the ending is "ed," and in the previous cl uh, classes in CZM, CNKM, and KTM, you already learned that uh, a regular verb is ending with "ed." So now this is just the past. The past now cannot be. Uh, there is no combination with the, with the present tense. So now definitely the answer is no. Okay, um, yes, uh, we, we, we have also seen that on the, on the lesson, uh, um, used to uh, expresses habit, past habits and facts. Can we have two examples please, with habits and one with uh, facts? Okay, so I can say tentatively that when I was a boy, I used to play football. Now I'm too old to play soccer. You can see it, right? Now the action is behind. And if I was a girl, I would say, when my daughter was four or five, she used to play with Barbie doll. But now she's no longer playing with Barbie dolls. OK, so that's, that was habit in the past. Good. Uh, Musa, any example with fact or habit? OK. so. Uh, uh, because with the use of uh, this word, this expression used to, mm -hmm. so uh, you can have, uh, so the habit is uh, expressed here. For example, I can say, uh, when I was in Kolda, I used to eat chicken every day. <laughs> okay, so this is every day. Mm -hmm. Or I used to drink milk uh, every Sunday. All right, so now this is a, uh, this is a habit yes. in the past. Okay. Thank you very much. I, I know your, your, t your, your teacher on my, on my left hand seems to be greedy. Anyway, thank you. Uh, <laughs> OK, thank you. Uh, so thank you very much. I think the, the learner who asked the question got very good, very good answers. And if you're satisfied, fine. If you're not, you can, you can also post your, uh, the question for, for more clarification on the forum. So. We we waiting for the next one. Is there any difference between use it to and would? Okay. Um, yes. The the second question from one of our students uh, is: Is there any difference between use to and would, Musa? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so now, used and would, both of them are expressing past actions. So, uh, but there is a slight difference because uh, use uh, expresses 
past actions and past habits at the same time. Whereas uh, wood is expressing past habits most of the time. Uh, for example, when I say, uh, when I was a boy, I used to play football. Okay? Uh, and uh, for wood, for example, I, I can say, when I, uh, uh, I already said I was in Kolda, but also I can say when I was in Tivawan, I would uh, recite the Holy Quran, or I would uh, read many books. This is a habit. So now, uh, this is just the difference between uh, used to and would. But both of them are followed by the, uh, by the infinitive without, uh, without to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes, thank you very much, Mu uh, Musa. Um, yes, I know this, um, this structure sometimes can be confusing for, for learners. Uh, we should not take it for granted. All right. So, uh, if we can have some more examples, that would be great because sometimes the structure, uh, the rule, and everything can be elicited. But if it is shown and illustrated by some examples, it becomes uh, easier to to understand by, by 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 the learners. So, Mawa, if you have something to add on this, and maybe some other examples before we before we move to. Yeah, definitely, I think we need to shed more light on the eliciting of the structure used to, because students very often mm -hmm. tend to confuse that structure with another one. And I would go that when we talk about used to, it is expressing a past habit or situation that has no connection with the present tense. Because when I say I used to do something, that means I used to drink tea, for instance. Now, if you listen to me, do I drink tea now? If I say I used to drink tea, what do you understand? That means that currently I stopped drinking tea. I no longer drink tea. This is a thing. Because when I say I used to do something, that has no connection with the present tense. Yes, I, yes, I remember before going, going back to Musa, um, during, during one of the lessons we followed, said that Yomane used to live in Bambali. What does it mean to you? Does it mean that Sajomane, because what you said, Mawa, is very, very clear. This, the action that happened in the past, yes, should not, should not have any connection with what is happening now, with the present tense. And if we say Sajomane used to live in Bambali, it, it, it means he no longer lives there. So, is this example to be given to, to learners? Or yes. All right. So, uh, I'll just bring some more precisions because uh, uh, it is said Sajumani uh, used to study in Bambali. In Bambali. Okay. This means that uh, as a boy, he was living in Bambali and he went to school in Bambali. But now he's no longer a boy. So, he grew up and he's no longer living in Bambali, but he's living abroad. So here, uh, there is a clear difference between the past action, mm -hmm. which is definitely uh, accomplished, yes. and the present situation sure. where uh, that uh, uh, Sadio Mane is living. Yes, thank you. Uh, before, before we proceed. I may come here, I would say that sure. with uh, Sadio Mane's example, now he's no longer a resident of Bambali. Absolutely. So we can Absolutely. definitely say he used to live in Bambali because he's not a resident mm -hmm. of Bambali. Mm -hmm. That's crystal clear, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's, I think that's clear. So we have made it clear that uh, when we use, used to, it should be a, um, a past habit or fact or action that happened in the past and that no longer happens, okay? Okay, um, we we have got uh, a lot of a lot of message uh, a lot of messages from our learners via Facebook and uh, WhatsApp. So I'm going to read one question to you guys. Um, this student from from Ziganshore says, "Why don't we have the letter D in the question and negative forms with dates and?" Uh, he or she 
has given an example. Did they use, did they used to like rap? And then he said, no, my dad didn't use, um, to, didn't use to like rap music. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much for the, for the question. Uh, in terms of conjugation, you know that in the previous classes, we just uh, saw uh, the affirmative form, the negative form, the interrogative form, and the interrogative form, the different forms of the verb. And you know that uh, the verbs also, you have the regular verbs, the simple verbs, the auxiliaries, the semi-auxiliaries. And the use of these verbs now will be depending on the context in which they are used. For example, when I say, uh, the question is, uh, uh, did they use to, uh, to like rap? Mm -hmm. And there is no D on the, use. Uh, the, the, the use. use. That's only because here, the interrogative form, the semi-auxiliary, is uh, going with the verb that is conjugated. So, the, uh, the time agreement is stressed on the semi-auxiliary to do, and since it is the past, we have did, but the use will be taking the infinitive without, uh, without to. And now this is an expression, use to, so here, the to is just uh, the, uh, the complement ending the, uh, the, the expression used to. So now use cannot take D because the past action is supported by the by the semi-auxiliary to do. To do, to do. yes. Uh, clear, Mr. Yeah, Mawa? Uh, what the inspector said, when I use did, mm -hmm. it's when I ask a question, then we have the base form. Did Sajo Mane play for US Gore? Mm -hmm. Did he use to play for US Gore? The use would not take any D because it is taken by did. Absolutely. Yeah, this is the uh, explanation. Okay. Um, uh, thank you, guys. I think the, 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 the answers you have given are crystal clear. And I do hope that our dear learners uh, will take profit from it and uh, be ready for, for, be ready for, the, for, the, for the coming, for the use first. Because um, what the notions and functions and grammar and everything uh, we're dealing with won't have any, um, any use if the students and learners cannot reuse them in real life context. So, dear learners, in your in your essays writing, in your in your everyday uh, discussions and debate, you I think you have now um, sufficient elements as far as this lesson is concerned to use them very very correctly. Um, so guys, if you do not have anything else to add, Mawa, anything to add? I just thank the dear students for listening to us and we hope that we really could contribute to your understanding of the expression used to. And thank you for being with us and thank you everyone. Yes, thank thank you. you Tamba for your bright presentation. Thank you guys. It was a real pleasure to, to, share, to share this session with you. And thank you dear learners, thank you dear parents and everyone. Um, we're going to ask you once again to stay at home and keep on following this program offered to you by the Minister of Education and do exactly how we're doing now because the sanitation prevention also are very, very important for all of us guys, right? Thank you very, thank you very much. And we'll, we, we give, okay, um, we'll, we'll see you later for the next, for the next lesson on, on, another, on another topic. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you.